Hello, it is April 3rd. I am Pat Sloan and it is April Activities, our daily challenge. If you haven't downloaded the calendar with all the challenges and all the sew alongs, the link is always below here as under the video. Also, when you're there, be sure you subscribe and click the little bell so you get the notices of new videos. So today is Friday and I have UFO Friday, of course, UFO Friday. You have to have at least one of those. I think UFO Friday at the beginning of the month is really good because if you want, you can take that thought of a UFO through the whole month. So if you want to take a little bit bigger UFO today, UFO is unfinished object. It's a project you have not finished yet that you haven't worked on for a while, not a current project and a project that is not current. <laughs> it's a UFO. <laughs> so if you want to take a UFO and work on it for the whole month, that's a, that's one way of doing this. You know, say, okay, this is the one by the end of the month and then do this, write it down on your planner. This is the scrappy planner that I'm working with in April. I've committed to writing down every day. So like if I want to do one for the whole month, I pick a UFO and say, okay, all month I'm going to work on this one UFO, no matter where it goes. You know, maybe it gets finished, maybe it just moves it along. I would write on here that I started it. And that's, you know, the one we get highlighted. It's like, yes, you're working on this. Or you can take the approach that the UFO is one that you just work on today. So just for today on Friday, pick one that you can accomplish something, you know, that maybe you have something that's you know, you can just pick it up and say, okay, I can sew a few more blocks or I can maybe get a binding started on it, you know, cut the binding, have it ready, uh, just get another section sewn, but pick something that you can uh, feel accomplished when you're done. Like, yes, I finished that part of it. So what I am going to do, I picked, because I can't believe this, I thought I'd actually done this. Am I the only one that does that? It's like, I thought I had already done this. And I picked this up because it was sitting on the table and realized I had never uh, applique down the stems for the shamrocks. So here's my shamrock table runner. And the applique needs done. So today, that is what I'm going to accomplish, is the applique for this. Now, I do actually, I do actually have the binding cut. Believe it or not, I did the binding, but I didn't do the applique. So that's on my list for Friday that I will finish all those stems and have them done. Now, another thing that I haven't done yet is the binding uh, for this baby quilt done with my Bonnie Lane. So these uh, four blocks and this is, let me just hold it back. So there you go. So these are four blocks from the glow. You can actually get a kit to make just these four blocks. I'll link it to it, uh, but I'm going to put yellow binding. I have the fabric out for it, but I haven't cut the binding and you can see I haven't trimmed it. The little uh, stars I did from the sew and flips. See, got all the little stars. So this one, I will do something after I do the stems tonight, because I generally will work on these after dinner, which means probably after nine or 9.30 sometimes. So it gets a little bit late. Um, I will uh, cut something for the binding, either cut the binding, trim the quilt, maybe do both if I get the stems. The stems won't take too long. There aren't that many of them and I can applique really fast. So I will know I will get those done. And then I had to package up the shamrock and with the backing and put it in a bag so that I can find it again. So your challenge part today is to get that done, you know, get a UFO done or work on a UFO today. Now you may decide, you can also take this approach to UFOs. You could decide always on Friday, you'll work on the same UFO for the month or always on Friday, you'll work on some UFO. You'll see on the calendar, I don't put UFO Friday every Friday because I think that would be boring. Uh, you know, but I don't like to be too predictable. You know, it's like, I don't like to be too structured. Maybe that's the right word. I don't like to be too structured. I like to have a little freedom, but, um, you know, it is nice to have a day that you're like, okay, I'm always going to sort of think about this, but for the challenges, I like to keep it flowing. So we don't just have it. So, so structured. Um, I might do that sometime, maybe like over the summer when we are out, hopefully out doing all kinds of other things that you have a little bit more structure to the, to the challenges. I also, brought Norm out because several people wrote me and said, where is Norm? 
so I brought him over here to hang him up. Definitely when, uh, and I get like a little space here and can, can work on, you know, some things, I am going to finish a red norm, make a red norm and put him on the wall on my other side. Uh, this is my design board wall, but I'm going to put it on the other side where I pin a couple of small rectangular quilts. I'm going to do one norm for my mascot. He's my mascot now. He's been hanging here so long, but he has to be red. You have to have a red, he has to have a red outfit of some sort or pinky red, something red and white. He's a red and white outfit. So I also got out, which is, so I would consider this almost a UFO. I'm still working on it. So I, it's kind of like a the project in progress. So this is my traffic jam. Uh, this is the current one that I'm working on. I have actually a red and white one in progress, but it is not been worked on for a while. This one, I want to show you my progress. Uh, and at the end, at the end here, before we sign off, I will show you my stay at home block. So I have a little story about why I picked the fabric. So here is the border. I'm going to do all white border. Uh, so I'll just put him over top of Norm there. So that's what the border is. But I think I'm going to do this red. I'm going to take and put the red strip all the way around as a uh, little outer border. I did this red a little bit narrower than what the pattern calls for because I didn't want such a hard pop of red. I wanted it very subtle. So I'll do another subtle one and then I have enough. I will do the binding with that red, but this is the border. So these now are what I'm working on. I have the quilt is four by five. Um, I don't think I want to make it any bigger because I'd like to just move on, <laughs> move on. So here's my basket of two and a half inch late two and a half inch squares. So I've got all of these units in progress. So that is, uh, that is what is going on on, to, uh, yeah, Saturday, the 4th, <laughs> thinking of the numbers on Saturday, I'll have sort of a recap post at my website. So if you're not signed up for my emails, um, be sure you do that because you'll want to get a notice when that goes out. So I'm going to do like a recap of some different things. There is a, uh, designer, uh, Facebook. It's only on Facebook, a designer Facebook trunk show a tour going on. So we're just doing these and they're live, live trunk shows. So just like, like a video like this. And at certain times there's about eight people per day, uh, maybe six, six to eight, depending on the day. And all they're spaced out through the day and they'll do a 15 minute little trunk show, show quilts, tell you about them. Uh, a whole bunch of my designer friends. It goes, it's been going on since the 1st of April to the 10th of April. I'm on the last day. Uh, and it's just so much fun. <clears throat> the neat part is the videos are all there. So you, they don't go away. You just go to the video tab at the link if it's if you wanna see the past people. But tomorrow on Saturday, <clears throat> excuse me, I will put out all the rest of the people that you can go follow. So you can go take a look at them early before their day. You can follow their business page, uh, see what they're about. It is just a, a wonderful way to have a quilting community. It's like going to a little quilt show. You know, you get like, or like your guild where you have a lecturer come in. A lot of these ladies um, and gentlemen, a lot of uh, a lot of these designer friends of mine, men and women are travel teachers or they have shops, you know, like studios that are open and they can't do that right now. So there's no way they've lost income basically, you know, and there's no way for them to contact people in person. So we came up, uh, one of the, two of the ladies came up with this idea, Cherry Goodry and Tammy Silver um, to Silver, yeah, I can get her name quite right. Tamaris is her uh, business name. But Tammy, she, the two of them came up with it to do this uh, tour, which is like going to a little mini quilt show. It is so much fun over the 10 days. And if you miss a day, you just go back. So, so tomorrow on Saturday, I will list all the rest of the names. So you will have a whole list and be able to see it. And I posted on my business page at Facebook and on the stories at Instagram every day so that you can link over if you want to catch up and, you know, just get to the list, but you have to go to each page, you know, it's like a little tour, uh, but it's fun. It's fun. It's nice. And you get to meet the people. Um, there's just some wonderful, wonderful designers out there and you might make, might make new friends. Yeah. It's always good to make new friends. Okay. My stay at home block. I'll show you all three of them. So this is day three. And I picked, these are Heather Roth's fabrics. I love a lot of Heather Roth's prints. They have these, I love her drawings. 
uh, she actually she actually wrote a book about her life, which I've been reading uh, off and on. You know, I don't read all the way through those kind of things. So I've been reading it off and on. And I should link you up to her book. It's at Amazon. Um, it's quite interesting, but she's draws adorable. Look, look, more eyes. Aren't they cute? So when I was a kid, uh, the very first home that my parents built, uh, had built, you know, so we moved out of an apartment. We had a house. We called it the White House because it was white. <laughs> and it had my own room. I didn't have to sleep with my brother. <laughs> and my brother loved to, you know, collect frogs. And so one time he and I, we had, the, the, there were still houses being built. So there was a lot of construction type stuff uh, at the comp, at the, uh, you know, housing development. And so they had some big, you know, cement tubes. And so we stood on either end of the tube to capture this big fat uh, bullfrog, you know, well, they say big to us, you know, he probably wasn't that big. And we brought him home and we told mom we had to keep him. <laughs> and so she's like, okay. So she put him in the shoe box in the garage. And then the next morning, magically, he had escaped. And so um, <laughs> we were all, we were like, oh, well, we'll have to go find him again, which we never did. But uh, <laughs> that's why it's, it's like, I had to have this fabric. I'm sure that you have sea fabrics that bring back super nice memories. That is what the stay at home uh, quilt along is about, if you've got those fabrics. And here's my other two. I've got the super cute little octopus. And then yesterday's was the ice cream cones. And so now I had to figure out a setting uh, fabric. So I will, I'm using these three and then there's a peach color too, like this for the corners. So that will be, maybe tomorrow I might look at that because I don't, what is it? Five across, I think. Yeah, five across. I need to set them because I don't want to be behind. Okay, so Norm and I thank you. Greg and I thank you. Thank you so much for being here. You are an amazing community. I love you. We appreciate all the links of ours that you use. They help our small family business. They don't cost you any more. Subscribe. Those are all the details. Have a great day. Mwah. Love you.